In this part of the lesson, we're going to look at how we can use shapes and other drawing objects as buttons to trigger our subroutines. This provides a few advantages over the boring grey brick looking things that we created in a previous part of the lesson. Primarily, we can format them to make them look interesting. I've already downloaded and extracted the file that we need for this session, so I'm going to double click to open that up. And again, if necessary, click enable content to allow the code to run. If I just switch quickly to the Visual Basic Editor to show you that we have the same three procedures as in the previous couple of parts of this lesson. And what I'd like to do to start with is draw an interesting shape that I can attach my Insert New Sheet subroutine to. So to do that, I need to first of all switch back into the Excel window. Now this time, rather than using the Insert tool on the Developer tab of the ribbon, I'm going to use the Insert tab in the ribbon. And from there I can draw any kind of drawing object, so that includes pictures and clip art, it includes auto shapes and icons, and even 3D models these days in the most recent edition of Excel. I'm going to start with a basic drawing shape, so if I go to the Shapes tool, I can pick any of these shapes I like. I'll go with a simple rounded rectangle, and then draw one of those on my worksheet in the standard way. Now the primary advantage of drawing an auto shape is all of the extra formatting options we have available over and above what we can do to the basic font on a simple form button. So just for something quick and simple to show you, I'm going to go for the shape effects and choose one of the preset options. Let's go with this, this one here, apply some sort of raised 3D effect and a slightly sort of gradient colour. I can add some text to this shape in the same way that I could add text to any other shape. So I'm going to call this one Insert New Sheet. So I can do that just by typing while the button's selected. And if I then apply some basic formatting to the shape text as well, so I can center it both vertically and horizontally, and then I can click away from that shape to draw it on the worksheet. In order to assign a subroutine to the shape, I can then right click on it and then choose the Assign Macro option. This will display the same dialog box we saw when we first drew a form control button. So what I'm going to do here is choose the Insert New Sheet option and then click OK. And then again, to activate the button to make it live as it were, I can click onto any other cell in the worksheet. Hovering the mouse cursor over the button now changes the symbol, changes the mouse cursor to the pointy finger symbol. And then clicking on the button will trigger the code. If I want to make any further changes to the button, such as formatting or changing the macro assigned to it, the simplest thing to do, rather than clicking on it to select it, is just to right click on the button and then I can modify any of its formatting options. I can also assign a different macro by choosing the Assign Macro option, edit the text and all of the other standard things that I did earlier. At this point, you may like to continue with the extra practice session of this lesson, which asks you to draw a couple of extra shapes and assign the other subroutines in this project to them.